Hi guys, it's Majesty Bianca here with the Financial Drive Through, and it's good to be back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 things that I wish I knew about the crypto space, about cryptocurrencies in general, before I got into crypto. And uh, my hope is that this actually does add some value and uh, kind of like put things in perspective to those who are new to the space, uh, looking to invest in cryptocurrencies. And I mean, even if you've already being invested in cryptocurrencies, this should at least help set you on the right path, assuming you've been doing a couple of things wrong. So without wasting too much time, let's drive through. So my first tip today is that you have to be practical. And it's as obvious as it sounds, really. So I found out when I got into cryptocurrencies, there were a lot of expectations. The general things that people were thinking about at the time was you just put money into cryptocurrency, buy some Bitcoin, and you hang on to it. And you're going to like be a millionaire in weeks to months to years. I mean, people just have till now, apparently these, these things are still valid, but people have these um, very unrealistic ideas about cryptocurrencies and it was quite shocking, I must say, quite, quite shocking to get into the space and find out that the volatility in the market is brutal. I mean, if you aren't prepared for what you're getting into, cryptocurrency can be a bummer. Yeah, so first thing, I think everybody has to be practical. You need to be quite realistic about your expectations and definitely have a plan going in. And this ties closely to my second point, which is find your why, okay? You need to know why you're getting into cryptocurrencies in the first place because let's be honest, there are numerous asset classes that you could invest in. You could go into the money market with some mutual funds, treasury bills. You could actually invest in ETFs and I mean invest in stocks, equities, pretty much a bunch of other things that you could do with your money. So the thing is you've decided on your own, I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you're interested in cryptocurrencies and you've decided you want to invest in this. So the question you should ask yourself is why are you interested in this? Are you caught up in the hype of watching um, your friends make money off of crypto? which is probably the case for most people if we're being honest so i mean i'm not going to fault you there but it's it's just good to know why you're doing this because if you have a general idea of why you're investing in cryptocurrencies i think you um should come in with a stronger mindset wow the segues just keep happening because the next thing i'm going to be talking about is your mindset going into it because you need to prepare yourself mentally for everything that you're going to get into now crypto will shock you i mean you're definitely going to make and lose money in the crypto space and so you have to have a certain amount of preparedness about you a lot of people made mistakes myself included i first bought bitcoin in 2016 I think the price was somewhere around $650 for a Bitcoin or so. At the time, I, I didn't even buy like an entire Bitcoin. I bought into it in fractions, which, which is fine. I always tell people, you don't need to own a full Bitcoin. But we definitely all got caught up in the hype. I had friends who used their kids' school fees to buy crypto. I had people who took out loans from the bank. I've seen people get really, really burned in this space. You um you have to understand that things can go wrong. There's nobody who has like a crystal ball and is going to be able to tell you everything that's going to happen in space. And so it's very important that you prepare yourself both mentally and understand why you're doing this. Because if you don't, then you're really going to get burned. Now, nobody wakes up and is a genius in forex trading, crypto trading. Trading itself is a brutal space. It's a dog eat dog world, and you just have to understand that there will be ups and downs there'll be good days there'll be bad days and so this brings me to my other point you need to learn from your mistakes i've made a couple of mistakes myself i've actually even been hacked so i've lost a fair amount of money and i mean you don't really brace yourself if you don't understand why you're in the space and what your goals are what your targets are and everything it's sometimes it can be so bad that you might you know never ever recover from it i myself gave up on cryptocurrencies for about I think it was like four months or four or five months. I stopped pretty much everything. I wouldn't enter the markets. I stopped forex trading. I stopped crypto trading. I just wasn't having it. You know, I was mourning my loss. Now, I'm going to definitely talk about uh, my hack because um, if you've been watching a couple of my videos, you've seen I've been talking a lot about keeping your cryptocurrency safe and I've been focused a lot on security. And um, it's quite important to me because, again, I've experienced this thing and I probably understand that a lot of people have and not everybody 
is as tenacious and I definitely don't want it to happen to people who view this channel so it's always good to learn from other people's mistakes so you don't have to make them yourself and I think that's one thing I'm gonna definitely try and communicate on this channel so I am gonna talk about that in more detail uh, this is actually one of the easier things to do in cryptocurrency but a lot of people take it for granted there are numerous ways you can stay safe in the space and I'm going to be talking about those you know as we go along and i mean this is all information that i'm giving out for free i'm not asking anybody for anything so if this is the kind of thing that you're worried about i would suggest that you definitely stick around and you know learn about that stuff it doesn't even have to be on my channel always check out a bunch of channels try and learn do enough research i mean they say it so much do your own research you cannot afford to play with your money at the end of the day you're the one who's going to bear the loss nobody else is well, in some situations, except you're trading on behalf of other people, uh, which is something that I don't really like to do because um, I've also come to learn human beings don't exactly have a firm understanding of things that they get people to um, handle on their on their behalf. And so I, I just don't like to get into those kind of things. It, gets, it can get messy. Believe me, you're going to make a few mistakes. Now, I've seen a couple causes online because I've done a lot of research on the subject. And I've seen a lot of causes where people um, kind of proudly boast that their causes are going to make you safe, completely safe, because they themselves have never experienced any losses. And while that's very commendable, I mean, kudos to everybody who's not experienced any pain in cryptocurrencies, but I would much rather learn from people who have lost money, uh, because um, if you have, and especially if it's a substantial amount, you're not going to want to do that twice. And so people like those usually have a, a wealth of experience to give you. It's one thing to know security measures to help avoid stuff. And it's another thing to experience, you know, what happens when you fail to use those measures. And this brings me to my other point. You need to know your risk appetite. So here it's really all about determining the type of human being you are. Now, some people can handle uh, bigger losses than others. It may be because you have access to more funds. It may be because you're just generally a tougher person or you have your eyes on the prize and you're um, not letting anything get in your way pretty much. I mean, it varies. It could be any one of these things. And so um, it's very important to know the type of human being you are. Now, the reason I say this is because when faced with the opportunity to buy cryptocurrencies, you're gonna have to make a decision. Are you gonna buy bulk? Are you going to buy in bits? Uh, what is your strategy coming in? I personally favor a dollar cost average strategy because, um, again, I always say this, nobody knows what the price of cryptocurrencies are going to be. Nobody knows what the price of Bitcoin is going to be at any given time. Technical analysis only gives us so much insights into the markets. But as we've seen repeatedly on end, Bitcoin especially tends to defy technical analysis sometimes for weeks on end and so you've plotted out your charts you've had everything mapped out you've decided i'm gonna buy bitcoin at this price and then something just happens it's not necessarily even news it's not it could just be one individual one huge whale sometimes just takes a dip and you know the price just tanks and you lose a lot of money or you miss your entry points or whatever it is you just need to understand the type of human being you are decide on a system that works for you make sure that's your strategy going in and i mean even if after you've just bought a little amount of bitcoin you do see the price of bitcoin boom don't fomo in you just have to pace yourself sure i would always say buy bitcoin i would always say every time is a good time to buy bitcoin because i think long term but i do not know your unique situations i don't know if you need money for something like next week okay so you might be thinking of making a short-term play and at that point by all means it's definitely good to you know take some risks but you also need to know that you're able to handle those risks so now another tip is reinvest where you can and this again ties closely to what we just talked about because you may have bought bitcoin at 19,000 in 2017 and right now bitcoin is tethering around what the 8k region someone who bought in at 19k 
might not be as willing to buy again right now. In fact, they're probably just on the sidelines waiting. Some of them have even given up on Bitcoin by now. I guess what I'm trying to say is even if you bought in at 19K, if you can handle it, I don't see why you wouldn't be buying in now at this price. And so if that's your story, definitely then you want to hold this point there. You want to reinvest at any given time that you can, keep the coins, divest them into altcoins, make some profits there, bring them back into Bitcoin. I mean, this is how you familiarize yourself with the market. This is how you learn. Again, you also have to understand that sometimes the market is not going to work with you. Okay, you... Okay, a perfect example was just a couple of weeks ago. Bitcoin was at uh, 6,000 or so. Yeah, and the RSI was way, way, way overbought. Everybody was banking on the price dipping. You know, I was I bought around three thousand, and I was really expecting the price to drop at least to maybe four five, four nine. And what happened? We saw eight thousand two hundred, eight thousand three hundred thereabouts. It just, you know, the candlesticks just boomed. I could very easily have said, okay, this is happening, and I'm seeing this, and force a trade. Now you don't want to ever, ever force trades. Okay, that's another point never force the markets if you have a plan wait let it come to you now it may never come to you at which point obviously you're gonna have to realign yourself take some steps and try and figure out how to make things work now um, obviously you may have set some stop losses and you may have gotten burned already and I mean that kind of stuff can infuriate a lot of people and what I found a few traders tend to do they get really pissed and they get back into the market determined to make their money and I learned this from Forex, but never trade angry. When you're really pissed, you don't see as clearly as you should. I mean, step out, go for a walk, have a drink, have a beer, brood, do whatever you will, but don't trade when you're angry. So another thing I wish I knew about cryptocurrencies before I got into it is that you need multiple coaches. Now, it's very, very easy. And I mean, everybody is guilty of this one, I think, um, to go into youtube you watch a couple of youtube influencers and you find one person that you really like i mean you, you seem to connect with this person uh the information they give you seems spot on every time it's almost like this person was made for you and you start to base everything that you do in the space on what that person says sure the person might be very good at what they do but i've also come to understand there are no experts in this None of what I'm saying is financial advice. I don't have any financial training. And I mean, everything that I've done, everything that I've come to learn in this space was from research, from watching multiple people, from actually digging in and taking the time to study the space. Put, I've put in the work, okay? Now, I still don't feel I'm an expert and by all means, please check out other YouTubers, learn from them. See if you can put everything that you gather from everybody who's on YouTube. It doesn't even have to be YouTube alone. There's Udemy, there's um, Skill Success, there's Skillshare. There are a bunch of places you can go for an education in cryptocurrencies. And by all means, I, I encourage you to check all of them out. And uh, this again ties into the very next point that I'm making, which is invest in an education. Okay, you want to take some courses, you want to actually learn from multiple people, you want to find people who are giving freemiums, um, ebooks. E-learning is the key right now, and I mean you can't you can't underestimate it at all. You have to invest in an education. It doesn't have to be paid stuff. Every there are a bunch of people out there who are giving courses from two hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and guaranteeing you results and all, and sure. Those are fine. A lot of them might work. There are people who give away free information. I'm gonna be giving out free information at any given time. So obviously, if I say something that is that you feel is wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'm learning, it's a continuous process. You owe it to yourself to actually educate yourself as much as possible. So I'm gonna be putting a Skillshare link down below. You can get two months free access to any course on any subject that may interest you. So if you're into photography, if you're into cryptocurrencies, if you're into uh, learning about stocks, equities, all that, by all means, you have two months free to access those courses and I mean as much as you can I would encourage people to go through them make sure you take full advantage of the time that you have now if at the end of the two months you feel that you still want to learn then obviously you're gonna have to start paying for that but 
two months guaranteed for anybody who wants to take advantage of that and it's free so definitely check that out in the details i'm going to leave a link there and please by all means drop a comment if you take advantage of it i would like to know that it's helping people because i mean that's why i'm putting it out there in the first place and to round it up the reason i'm stressing the need for an education is the fact that really you don't want to depend on any influencers okay i i've seen and i've been you know caught up in it myself where you watch someone who you really like and they tell you this is what you need to do or this is the price that you need to buy from and all that now as a general rule it's good to assume that everybody has an incentive everybody has an end game when they give you advice okay now if it's, if it's free advice by all means enjoy it but if it's something that you feel they're going to benefit from i mean it's up to you to make the choice to go with them or to go against them now if you truly trust these people that's fine but i would always recommend that you have the necessary knowledge to be able to cross check the kind of information that you get from influencers for example crypto daily is one of my favorite crypto youtubers right now and i mean if daily should tell me he's buying cardano at a certain price i would definitely be interested in finding out why now what i'm going to do in that case is i'm going to go over to the charts and i'm going i'm going to try and verify or at least try and see what he's seeing so that i know if i'm also going to make the same play now what i'm advising against is just hearing that daily is going to buy cardano at a certain price and just you know opening your order book and placing an order to buy cardano at that price now whether or not you trust the person is not the issue and i'm not trying to slight anybody in particular what i'm just trying to say is it's always good to establish your own personal bias for every decision that you make in the space that way regardless of what happens if it's successful or if it's not you're going to be in a position to say this was the reason i did this this was the reason i got involved in this trade and i'm okay with that you know and i mean once you can do that you can make a piece of pretty much anything and yeah so besides that just be very passionate about cryptocurrencies i am super passionate about cryptocurrencies and i'm i'm always going to be talking about crypto i'm that guy who goes out and finds a way to bring Bitcoin into a very regular conversation. We could be talking about vegetables or something, you know, how it's good to eat your veggies at any given time. And I'd find a way to talk about how you could buy vegetables with Bitcoin. So that's who I am right now. And I hope this video has actually helped you. So my question for you is, what are the things that got you involved in crypto? Drop a comment and let me know what inspires you. And of course, if you like this kind of content, definitely smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button so you can catch my videos as they drop. And also hit that little bell notification icon so you can get notified when I do drop these videos. And once again, my name is Majesty Vianga and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.